Hi, so we are outside. Let's test the controllers with the panel. So we have the panel right there. 310 watts panel. Very cloudy, very, very cloudy outside. I think the perfect condition to check the controllers. We have the batteries. We have a nice 20 amps fuse in case something happened. <laughs> but nothing can happen. The controllers are connected in a parallel mode, yeah? The output is connected in parallel mode to the batteries, yeah? So now all the controllers are on. <clears throat> Obviously, I cannot connect the solar panel on everyone because uh, that will not work. So we'll go quickly with with the, the the solar panel wires on each controller. So you can see here we have the ammeter on the wires. You can see exactly the output and how fast it's doing the tracking. Okay? Because that's the idea to benchmark them. Okay? So pay attention on the ammeter and how quickly he goes up to the max current yeah because it's all about the current efficiency comes with this higher current better efficiency the problem is the weather is changing very quickly so we have to be very fast and compare many times to get an idea on which one which one has better efficiency and fast tracking okay so let's start. First, you have to understand how the weather changed the changed the, the values of the of the volt not the voltage the amps the current because you know the power comes from the current. So pay attention here. That's the multimeter, and you see that the changes on the now it's a short circuit. Uh, <coughs> Amps checking, yeah. So that's the short circuit current. Like how we see now, it's 90 milliamps, 91, and it's changing because the lumi luminosity is changing, yeah. The light intensity on the panel. So that's because of this reason. To be precise, we have to be fast changing from one controller to the other controller. So we will check only like two. We'll check two. After that, we'll check another two. That's the only way to find out which one is better. So look how quickly it's changing. Because the light is changing. Okay? Okay, so let's start with the first one. This is the slowest one. So I did test before, so check the ammeter. It's going up very slowly. Looks efficient, but it is slowly. And these are about the same price, this free one. This is the cheap one, and this is the, the Victron one, yeah? Which is more expensive. So pay attention, the current goes up. Seventy six milliamps, uh, seven hundred uh, seven hundred forty milliamps, yeah, seven thirty, seven twenty, seven twenty. 720. 720. Quick here, check this one. This is more faster. Seven twenty, this one. This one is about the same. 7.30. This one is, this, this, this is not like how I f thought it is. It's actually, is, it's not very great. Six, 640. And this one, this one is a little bit slower compared with this one. 810, yeah? 810, quickly here.
810, 20, 40, 850, yeah? 60. You see the light is changing probably, that's, the, that's why. 850, yeah? This one. Nine fifty quickly back. Nine sixty one amp. One amp. This one again, just to have an idea. One point zero five. This one. From what I seen, it's not every time the Victron is taking the it start working and the wire are touching because I can feel them. So it's 1.21, 1.21. Quick on this one. One point twenty-one quick on this one. One point uh, twenty one twenty, and on this one, this one is slow. You have to wait, wait, wait. It's doing tracking, but it's very slow. Now it's not even working. Any, anyway, let's go on the next one. One point zero four quick on this one. Zero point ninety six and this one. Okay, let's try one more time. Quite fast, 870 milliamps, yeah? This one. A hundred, a hundred sixty. This one, a hundred sixty, eighty, seventy, sixty. Let's see this one again. Nine twenty. 9.30 No Was about to sh shut down, uh, shutting down Again Nine Another thing is what I've seen on the, the Victron one, it's changing, so it's going down and up. One amp, yeah? One amp there, let's see here. One point zero seven.
1.0237 and this one this one is like 800 milliamps and this one this one is extremely slow so it is going up one point uh, one amp one point ten one point eleven yeah let's see this one quickly one point eleven and this one one point thirteen and this one one point seventeen that's the thing I don't understand why it's going down you know the wires are there I understand he reached the best value but just stay there you see it's going down like 600 and after that it's going back 1.30 yeah let's see this one quickly one point thirty eight this one one point thirty forty fifty anyway I did test yeah I did play a little bit this looks about the same just a little bit this more efficient but just just an idea just an idea this looks okay, looks nearly close with this one, but it's extremely slow. And this one, this one is just weird. And I did update the software. I did update the software, I made two updates because it's connected with, uh, with the phone. Kind of weird, looks efficient. Sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow. Uh, but this, this, I don't know, this is a disappointment. Now it's like uh, one amp outside, but I checked with three amps and the output is very low. It's like uh, one amp lowest compared with these ones. So I don't know what other test I should do to choose one. If I will be to choose, probably I will choose one of these two after I will open them, just to see how they are inside. You know, we are doing heat electronics so we can have an idea about what, what is inside. Maybe we should do it. Maybe we should open this. Yeah, we can do it. We can do it. Okay? So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Let's see the next step, okay? Because you see in the last video with this project, all these controllers, they are not boosting. <laughs> so as soon as the voltage goes under the battery voltage, they are dead. And batteries, my, my battery is 24 volts, but actually, you know, it's like 28 volts. So as soon as the, the, the voltage goes under 28 volts, they stop charging. That's the reason why I ordered another panel so we can raise the voltage to 72 volts. On that point, probably will be more efficient. Maybe you can do a test with two panels. Yeah, that would be a great idea. See you on the next one. Bye.